Hi my beautiful Scorpios and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your December the 11th until the 18th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome. And if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you back. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. I do have construction going on out there, so I am sorry for that if that is causing any noise, which I'm pretty sure it is going to. Um, if you guys are interested in the extended reading, we will be taking a look at, well, sorry, it will be located in the description box below, and we'll be taking a look at how does your person feel, what do they want you to know, um, what is their favorite thing about you, what are they hiding, what are their true intentions, what do you need to know, what drew them to you, and we'll be pulling some lovers and romance angels and oracle cards. Um, if you guys watched my reading last week and you watched the extended, it's so crazy how like it's almost like this is like it, it, it continues on but it's similar in so many ways so if that resonated with you then you'll definitely want to get this extended um, but it was an amazing reading it was I, I think I'm gonna call it part two of the second one because it was so like you really have things flowing in a relationship that are just going to be turning so quickly into the direction that you want them to go and it's, it's really beautiful um, but yeah other than that um, personal readings description box below as well as the 2020 forecast which I'm going to be closing on the 15th so there's only about uh, a couple more days left for that for those of you guys that are interested and if you are following me on Instagram or Facebook which the links are in the description box below or subscribe to me on here then you're automatically entered in the giveaway for the end of this month to win a free personal reading all right guys so when I was doing your pre-shuffle I got the Queen of Wands and the seven of pen or sorry the seven of wands here so this is very fiery energy that you guys are coming you know you have for the overall energy for this week here and I'm loving this I'm loving you guys coming out so confident so strong so in your power you know just absolutely knowing what you want and just being so confident within you like this isn't you feeling confident because of your lover because of your love life because of somebody else or because of something that you got this is you feeling confident because of who you are and your own abilities your own capabilities here with the seven of wands here I love this for you guys because this is about you know coming out on top if you are fighting for something if you're competing for something you know you are going to win there is an outcome this week that you are going to win in and it's going to be like for some of you it's like you're going to be winning against all odds because you have that sheer will that sheer power that sheer determination that that is going to be mine you know this queen of wands she's holding her one wand and then in this he has that one one and he's using it to defend everything that he believes in and everything that he knows is is his you know and to claim all of that and that's how i see you guys fighting for what you deserve fighting for the life that you want going out there and making it happen here and there's this energy of using your strengths but also using your weaknesses and turning them into strengths you know seeing the good side and a lot of things I feel like you guys are gonna have a lot more of a positive energy and there's this energy of manifestation around you here um, a lot of people are very attracted to you here there could be people that feel like they have to fight to get towards you like you could be somebody that has you know a lot of Instagram followers or somebody that has a large social media following or maybe you're on a dating site but there's somebody around you that feels like they have to like break through to get to you it could even be that you're maybe closed off towards this person right now but I'm sensing like somebody's having to break through burdens or break through something to get towards you that either you're guarded because this person has hurt you or you just have a lot of people that are around you that are you know interested in you and this person feels like they have to fight off all those people in order to be seen by you here with this Queen of Wands you know this is somebody that is very confident very sexy very attractive you know I've you know never really seen a Scorpio that is not you know completely dolled up from like head to toe it's like they're either completely dolled up or they're completely just like I don't even you know is my shirt on backwards because I don't even care you know it's like usually it's like one or the other all in or all out no in between you know black or white so it's like I feel like you guys are gonna be dressing so nice and just looking so good and attracting a lot of things and especially a lot of opportunities here you guys are gonna be feeling very passionate here and very just confident it's almost like you know a little bit bored or going towards like not like I would say like you know not cocky right but like just 
a little bit too confident where some people would say that it's too confident right because I do sense I'm sensing somebody like looking at themselves in the mirror and just like realizing their beauty you know but it's not cocky because it's 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 pure it's you realizing your worth you know you're finally realizing your worth I feel like a lot of tests that you went through last year was so that you could realize your worth so that you would never put up with the things that you've been putting up with you know over and over and over again like Scorpios have this thing where it's like if somebody does something so horrible to them they you know the way that they act back to them depending on what it is because Scorpios you know they can lash out especially if it has you know if it's regarding trust but if they feel like somebody's energy is off or whatever it is like and somebody hasn't been treating them the nicest way like they a lot of the times they can't you know say certain things to that person even though that person sorry guys even though that person had said certain things to you a lot of the times like you wouldn't be able to because like your heart just won't allow you to and you feel bad but not anymore you're gonna stand up for yourself you're gonna stand up for your ground you know and you have a lot of things that you're gonna start saying and the world is gonna start hearing your voice your exes the things that you know you might have let go before if they try to come back into your life you're gonna put it straight you're gonna put it out straight and nobody is gonna think that they can mess with you because a lot of the times when people are nice People assume that you know they can be played or this or that they take it for granted right and you know that's so not true especially when it comes to a Scorpio so people are really gonna be seeing you they're really gonna know that you're not somebody to mess around with you're really gonna be making your mark in the world all right so let's see yeah the Queen of Swords you know you guys are really going to be cutting people off left and right like wow just cutting people off left and right just done because you know where you're going yeah you know where you're going and you don't want anybody to be sat you don't want anybody to sidetrack you you are somebody that is very intuitive and you pick up on energies really well as well um, some of you guys are very spiritual and you guys can you know pick up certain energies and it's like you're at this point where you are very confident and you're feeling so good and if somebody's not on the same level as you you don't want them around you you don't want them in your life right now because they're going to, you know, pull your energy down, pull your energy back, or, you know, they're not, you know, because some of you guys are cutting people off because they're not happy for you, especially around this time where you're feeling like the queen of wands. You're going to realize that your friends are very petty. A lot of you are going to realize and see the truth behind a lot of people's masks that have been in your life for a very long time. Some of you, these are people that you've only met recently here, but you're going to start seeing it for what it really is. And it's to the point where you're not going to be able to overthink it. You're just going to be like, it's over. You know, as soon as you hear it, you're ready or out. You're already done. You don't have to overthink it. You don't have to, you know, you know, wait so long knowing that you already know what you know, but not making an action towards it. Like that is no longer the Scorpio. This is a new Scorpio here. And I'm pretty sure there was something about a new Scorpio in the last um, reading too. So it's like you guys are really going through some big change, some big, you know, evolution, speaking your truth and not, you know, feeling the need to hold back, saying what it is that you need to say here. All right. Some of you guys left a relationship in the past and you never really gave that person the closure that they needed. Um, maybe it was because you knew that it would really hurt them, but now you're really going to give it to them. Um, and some of you, it's like you're doing it because you, you need to say it. But others of you, it's because, you know, this person has been needing to know why you left and you're going to do it to give them that closure, but you're not going to, you know, you're not going to sugarcoat it. The Wheel of Fortune, you guys. So there is, like I said, a huge change. You doing this, you standing up for yourself, you knowing your worth and you cutting out what no longer serves you. When you take that next step after you do all of that, the universe is going to push you so far towards what it is that you want, help you to see the things that you actually need, the things that are aligned with your destiny, you know, the things that are meant to happen. You're going to be, you know, there's a, a lot of luck that you're going to have throughout, you know, not just this week. I'm seeing this as the whole month of December, a lot of luck that you are going to have. I feel like you're going to be, you know, lucky with fixed sign so if you are dating a fixed sign you end up meeting a fixed sign that's a friend or that's you know whatever it doesn't matter a co-worker so Taurus Aquarius um, Scorpio and Leo are going to be very very you know people that are going to just be coming into your life and it's just gonna be like it's almost gonna seem like it's so random how they come into your life but these people are gonna be in your life for a very long time here and these people are people that are on the same life path as you on the same journey as you so it's really um, it's gonna be really beneficial here you're gonna have a lot of luck and a lot of gifts here financial abundance I also see coming in for you here it's just like you know where you're going like you 
we all want to find our calling we all want to know what our purpose is and I feel like some of you guys are really having that come towards you or you're just really excited working on some sort of business project you know the queen of um, wands is you know a business a really business orientated person so some of you guys are realizing like oh my god you can't work for people anymore like you just need to leave like some of you guys have a really bad boss and you're just like realizing that it's like it's time to go definitely changing careers um, if you're not happy in your job and the best time to do it is before December you guys before December ends is the best time that I'm seeing for you guys so do what you want to do I mean if you want to go and you want to hand out resumes you know everything's online now anyway so if you want to spend you know an hour handing out resumes every single day for the next you know until the year is done do it because you will find something that is so and apply to jobs that you normally wouldn't or apply to jobs also this is a great time to apply to jobs where you know you would need a little bit of higher skills than you have because you have the persuasion to get what it is that you want it doesn't matter if you're qualified or not you will get it so put yourself out there you guys all right so we have the seven of swords or sorry this is the five of swords and it came out in reverse I feel like this is you guys being done with your self-sabotaging behavior. Honestly, you guys are really, like I said, it's not only that you guys are going to be seeing the truth about yourself, but or sorry, about others, but you're going to be seeing the truth about yourself. So all the things that you've been kind of like pushing off, pushing to the back of your mind, even the things subconsciously that you didn't know you were doing to self-sabotage yourself, it's all going to be laid out right in front of you. It's all going to be laid out right in front of you and you're just going to have to deal with it and you're just going to go through it and instead of it feeling harsh, instead of it feeling like a crazy, you know, tower devil, like crazy, like intense energy, all of these things coming up, it's actually just going to be like, you know what, all right, you know what, it's been long enough, let me just deal with it, done, you know, done. And then over with, yeah, over with, moving on, moving forward towards calmer times. There is, you know, some intense moments that you're going to have this week, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's all going to be worth it. You're moving towards calmer times, you're moving towards calmer waters. Some of you have an ex from the past that is wanting to come back to make things right with you here. And if that's the case, then I feel like you're going to have a really tough time um, because you don't want to give this person another chance. You don't trust them. But at the same time, there's still some love that you have for this person. And I feel like you have never loved anybody the way that you've loved this person. You have the Seven of Pentacles. You guys are really going to be focusing on your career here. There's a lot of potential in front of you with a new career here or the career that you're working on. You're going to see the, you know, you're going to see the abundance. You're going to see the gains from whatever it is that you're working on. Some of you guys are, you know, recovering from something here, but this is your harvest time. This is when things are going to be coming into fruition. Some of you guys are, you know, approaching retirement and you're trying to make plans and see what it is that you want to do after you're done working here. Um, really like planning for the future very persistent and you're going to get the success that you want um, if you you know some of you like I'm getting like you're gonna be getting a financial planner some of you may be getting a life coach it's like you're everything that you had worked on that year the past year was amazing but now you need to work on your inner self right so some of you need to go to get counseling you're gonna do that or you're gonna go get a life coach some of you are gonna start going to the gym you're gonna you know start eating healthier here but it's like you feel great on the outside and it's amazing but there is some deeper rooted issues on the inside that you guys are gonna be working on and really you know purging through so that after you do that it's like you're going to be so evolved that like you won't even recognize yourself and nobody will recognize yourself and the funny thing is a lot of those people that would be the ones that would be able to recognize you won't even be in your life your life will be replaced with completely new people who are very aligned with you what else can we get for my beautiful Scorpios I also forgot um, I was supposed to say this in the beginning thank you guys so much for your views last week it was so amazing to me I honestly cried I was so happy because um, like for me that was a milestone in my you know career on here and I got so emotional that day I don't remember exactly what day it was but it was one of the days where I know there was some sort of transit shift and it was one of the days where like I was gonna be wearing my emotions on my sleeve no matter what and like I literally was crying like half the day it was so it just it just means so much to me like it just it's it, it's everything to me I don't think like anybody could ever you just have to feel it like ever since I started doing this I cry all the time and it's happy tears I used to cry because I was sad cry because I was upset cry because this didn't work out or whatever you know what I mean 
And now I just cry because I'm happy because I'm, you know, I'm doing what it is that I love to do. And I just want all of you guys to do that. So just take that risk because it is going to bring you the happiness that you want. I'm telling you, it really is, honestly. So for your views, I am going to be doing a bonus for you guys this month. Um, but I want you guys to pick. So leave me a comment in the description or sorry, leave me a comment in the comment section and whichever, you know, comment gets the most likes or whichever comment I see the most is what kind of reading. So whatever type of reading you would prefer me to do, definitely leave that in the comment section and also you're going to get a bonus extended. So whatever questions you want me to ask in the extended, whichever ones are the most liked and whichever ones are the most, um, like I see the most are the questions I will be asking in the extended as well as the questions that I normally ask in the extended. So we have the King of Cups in reverse. Which is amazing because you know you guys are releasing the need to control here. You're releasing the need to control the outcome and when you release the need to control is when everything manifests for you. And that's what you're realizing too. That's what you're actually learning to trust your intuition. You're learning to have faith. You're learning to trust your intuition. A lot of your negative, you know, the negative traits, the negative sides of Scorpio, so things that, you know, a lot of people when they hear the word Scorpio, they only think of the negative traits. All of that is really gonna like disappear. You guys are gonna become so optimistic that like people are gonna be like wondering what is going on with you. And this is crazy because you wanna know what's funny about this is a couple years back when I first started reading, like doing reading for my friends, my family, and then I would do like readings in my local uh, where I lived and everything like that, there was this abundant change. like the most intense change I just was a new and I don't even know like when it actually even happened I just woke up one day and I was not myself like I was somebody else I was so optimistic so I was such a negative person at one point like oh my gosh I would let the smallest thing just stress just stress was too much for me to handle before I think what is what it really was and it was hard for me to see myself getting out of a bad situation so all of a sudden I'm this positive person telling everybody like oh like every time somebody says something negative I was like giving them reasons to uplift themselves giving them things that they can do you know instead and I was always like that with other people but for myself I was never really like that so people started to notice like how I just did this 360 and was a whole new person and I feel like that's what's happening for you guys and if that's what's happening like Oh my you guys you're gonna feel so nice there's this there's this burden off your chest that's just gonna be removed you're going to have a lot of healing and for some of you what this really is is that you actually need to go to counseling here because when I was thinking right now I was thinking subconscious subconscious thoughts things that you've buried maybe things from your childhood because one thing that I um, learned when I you know the reason why I actually you know one of the reasons why I like ended up finding about what tarot reading is is because I was so obsessed with my sign because when I found out about like Scorpio and I read I've read every book in the libraries I've read everything that there is on the internet I've watched every video there is like I have done my re I'm Scorpio you know what I mean like I will research and um, throughout that research I realized like I'm not the only one like this and that made me feel I literally thought I was like this weird person that like was just so weird and like I don't know you know wasn't meant to fit in with people like I just thought I was that type of person like I always just felt like left out like I didn't belong in this world like you know what I mean like I don't really know exactly because I just don't feel like that anymore but um, it was just this really burdened feeling and I didn't like it you know I was really antisocial but as I went through this you know I learned not just about that but about a lot of other things that I've gone through that you know it's obviously general because how many other Scorpios are saying you know go through these things and I a lot of my clients are Scorpios like I have built really strong you know I, I get along with Scorpios well a lot of my best friends are Scorpio so the clients that I have that are Scorpios I built a lot like really strong connections with them and um, you know I've definitely you know noticed some things but like that are very very similar about like life paths and they don't happen around the same time but they happen like after so some of you guys are definitely going through this process now and it's gonna be beautiful yeah ace of pentacles there's a new opportunity coming in for you here I see the five of pentacles this could be somebody coming in from the past somebody that you were separated from somebody that you were isolated from um, or that you kind of left out in the cold maybe because you weren't expressing but there is an offer coming in towards you. Whether this is a new job or a new relationship, this is all about new here. I see the past, a lot of you, the past is being left behind here. 
unless you're in a happy relationship but even if you are in a happy relationship I really feel like coming in the new year that whole relationship is gonna be completely new I'm not saying you're breaking up I'm just saying you guys are gonna transform and it's gonna be a beautiful a more beautiful brighter side even if it's already beautiful and bright it's gonna just be way more uplifted here within your current connection um, some of you guys may also be getting engaged um, yeah there's definitely the chance for that because um, that was a strong strong energy in the extended um but yeah so let me take a look i don't really think i have many signs i literally only have sagittarius i'll do it by element nah all right if you're dealing with the sagittarius scorpio is dealing with the sagittarius Judgment, Ace of Wands. So coming back in for a new start here, but you need to be careful and make sure, you know, that this isn't just passion that they're coming in for. That you need to make sure that, you know, this person, I do sense with the judgment, they definitely have woken up here, but with them coming in as the Ace of Wands, it's like the communication is like, I do feel like this is somebody where like, even if you've had a really bad past with them when they come into your life, it's like, you guys can just joke around still, you know, you've known this person for a while. So because of that, it's like, you can't really stay mad when you when you look them in their eye you can't you know you crack up you know but if you're communicating online or through text then for sure you can be rude to them but there is somebody coming in wanting a second chance but they are you know they do have intimacy strongly on their mind here um what should i do let's see if you're dealing with if you're dealing with a cancer page of pentacles you are going to be getting off an offer from this person here um this is definitely a new person for you guys here if there's somebody from the past and they're still coming in as a page they still have growing and maturing that they need to do but this if this is somebody new here then i am sensing this as um an offer from somebody that could possibly be younger than you there is potential with this offer though if you're dealing with a taurus Six of Cups, if you're dealing with the Taurus, I sense that there could be a reconciliation coming back. This is somebody from your past. If you are already with this person, then this is just a strong soulmate connection here. You know, this is like a past life where I feel like this could be, you know, there's something that they want to offer you. This could definitely be an engagement here. Um, or wanting to have children. You might already have a daughter with this person. They see you as the world, though. That's actually really beautiful. They feel like you can see through them, too. Um, you're dealing with a Leo. Two of Swords. If you're dealing with a Leo, you're going to have a tough time making this decision, um, whether or not you want to be with them. With the Nine of Wands, you're too guarded to be able to accept them. You're afraid of what could happen. So even if you do go in, you're going to quickly probably get out of the relationship if it's somebody coming back from the past. Um, but if this is you know a new person in your life here then you're for some reason you're feeling cautious and guarded and unable to decide whether you want to be with them or you want to be single all right and I'm gonna pull you guys some of these moonology any other messages for my beautiful Scorpios We have confidence is your key to success, the new moon in Leo, and absolutely, you had that Leo energy coming out strongly. Some of you guys may have a Leo rising. Um, Leo strong in your placement somewhere, maybe Leo and Mar or Mars and Leo, especially some of you guys. Um, meditation and, or Aries and, um, Aries, Mars and Aries, sorry. Meditation and contemplate, or sorry, meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. I was getting a Piscean energy of somebody coming back from the past as well. You guys came out so strong, actually. I think it was two or three cards um, in the Pisces reading. So if you are dealing with the Pisces, definitely check that one out. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And that's what I was saying earlier about how sometimes, like, even if somebody's treated you bad, like, you can't cut them out or you can't do certain things because you feel bad about it, you know? Or it's like you don't want to tell people certain things so straightly because you feel like you're going to hurt them. But, like, you are here to tell people the truth. That is your purpose for a lot of Scorpios, right? So 
I feel like you're not going to be feeling guilty anymore and you're like with that energy that I was seeing like you're just going to be able to say what it is that you need to say from now on because a lot of people think that Scorpios are automatically like that but it's like even if they do they do feel a little bit of guilt you know they do have a little bit of guilt when they do go off on people or, or they'll regret it a little bit later on you know because they do have such a harsh tongue sometimes here but you know I don't think all Scorpios are you know just ready to cut anybody off all the time like definitely not I think it takes a while to be able to you know realize what doesn't serve you and cut it off just like that playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer love is the greatest healer so I do feel a strong sense of somebody coming back right and if somebody had cheated on you or hurt you like I can never ever picture a Scorpio ever going back to a person that had done that or lied betrayed but if this was like something that wasn't like that there was another reason that for why you guys um, ended I definitely sense that you guys are going to be getting back together because what I'm sensing here is like this person comes into your life and you guys are just gonna be smiling you're gonna be laughing or you know maybe they did something but that wasn't too big like it was just something small but you were kind of just like not feeling it anymore. This connection just kind of faded. And you know, when you see this person, it's just like, even though there should be a little bit of awkwardness, you're both just gonna just start smiling and laughing at each other and it's just gonna go back to exactly how it was before. So I don't know, like if that's your situation, uh, let me know because I'm really curious um, to know about that. But anyways, if you guys are interested in the extended to see a little bit more about how this person feels, what their true intentions are, what they're hiding and so on, that's in the description box below, as well as um, the links to personal readings. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to leave me your comments about what you want for the bonus reading and the bonus extended. All right, guys, take care.